Hey guys, Jordy here for Cinecam. .net and welcome back to Copycat Friday, the weekly series in which we try to recreate visual effects from famous films and music videos. Now today is a little bit different as we're taking a look at the anime series My Hero Academy, in which we can see one of the characters getting this energy across his fist once he's going to do the Detroit Punch. Smash. Smash, okay. That is exactly what we're going to recreate today and it's gonna be really interesting because we're taking an idea from an anime and turning that into real life visual effects. So let's go upstairs and see what Janik and Lorenzo are up to. Wrong anime, Jordi! For the smash effect from My Hero Academy, we're gonna test a few things. The first one is the glowing lines on the arm. And we have a rough idea for the design for the lines, but what we want to test is sticking those lines onto the arm. And for this, I'm gonna test Mocha Pro, while Lorenzo is going to test another plugin. I'll be using Absent, which is a pretty cool software. Basically, all it does is style transfers. You just simply give it your video and feed it a reference frame of how you want your video to look, and the software will do all the calculations and draw that single reference frame all over the video. We already have some experience with the software because we made Jordi 50 years older in another video and it looked pretty good. So for now I'm just gonna make a PNG sequence of our current video, throw it in the software, take a random frame of that video and paste a noise pattern on top of it that Janik made and with a simple click of the button the pattern should normally stick pretty well to the skin. And I know it doesn't look perfect but keep in mind it only took me one minute and one reference frame to achieve this result. So to achieve a better result you can always use more reference frames and the biggest plus side of absent versus Mocha Pro is that it's free. And now it's time for the sponsor of today's video, Story Blocks. It's a huge library filled with a wide variety of stock videos. And you know what? A lot of them are 4K resolution. Now besides that, you can easily find related clips with their collection feature, combining subjects like extreme sports, space exploration, extreme close-ups, and so much more extreme stuff. And you are seeing all these cool titles? Well, those are Premiere Pro templates from Storyblocks, which you can easily modify to your liking. But the best thing, the very best thing, is the fact that you can download an unlimited amount of video assets for only one single price per year. So stop wasting time and start downloading those assets by going to the first link in the description below. Safety first guys, we are using this super clam to make sure that the dolly won't go off its tracks. Cause that wouldn't be that great. Genic! Animes are dumb! They're just cartoons! Detroit Smash! <laughs> For this effect we're gonna need two shots. One we're shooting from a tripod towards the green screen where we can film our arm moving towards the camera. Now for the second shot we need a background and you can use these typical anime speed lines but you can also create them yourself and you can easily do this by taking your camera spinning around super fast creating a spinning motion and you can add blur to that and you get these real life speed lines just like the anime dizzy We have every shot that we need, and of course we have a lot of them where we want to apply the effect to. But for the tutorial part, we're just going to show you how we place it on our arm. So first things first, we place our background clip in the timeline. This can be an anime moving stock clip, or if you want, a realistic one. You can use a rotating background clip that we showed you just now. This clip we just sped up a bunch and added the directional blur to it, giving us a fast moving background. Next up, we added the green screen clip of our arm, leg, or whatever body part you want. Then with the key light effect, we are going to remove the green, already giving us a cool flying fist effect. However, now it's time to create the line pattern on the arm. For the line pattern, we are going to create a new composition, and in that composition, we are going to create a solid layer to serve as a background. Then we are going to set the color of the solid layer to a reddish magenta color. Next up, we're gonna create a new solid layer, and the color doesn't matter for this one. On this new solid layer, we are going to create some neuron shaped lines. Look for the cell pattern effect and drag that to the new solid layer. For the settings we are going to increase the contrast, the disperse and the size. 
and then for the animation. When looking at the original effect from the anime, we can see that the motion inside of the lines is more a flickering. However, when we animate the evolution of the cell pattern effect, the motion will be way too smoothy and wavy. So instead of animating that, we are going to animate the random seat property to make it jump around like crazy, creating a flickering. Next up, let's make the lines a little less repetitive. Look for the turbulent displace effect and add it to the solid layer. Increase the amount and size and set the pinning to pin all locked and that's it. Already looking good. However, we're not done yet. Let's create a new solid layer to add some extra texture to it. On this new solid layer, we're going to add the turbulent noise effect. For the settings of this effect, you can choose whatever you want. Just try to create these grungy spots that are all over the frame. Then duplicate the grungy spot layer and in the turbulent noise effect, you can make them a lot smaller. Now look for the glow effect and drag that to both grunge spot layers. Next, set the blending mode to add for all the solid layers, leaving you with this cool texture. But now we want this texture inside these random lines only. So we are going to duplicate our first neuron line solid and place it on top of everything else. Then we selected everything except for this new duplicate and pre comp them. Now go to the duplicate and let's adjust some settings. First set the cell pattern to pillow, then increase the contrast and size a lot. Also remove the animation of the random seat. Next up look for the luma key effect and drag that to the solid layer. Set the key type to key out brighter and adjust the threshold until the whites are gone. Now the only thing you need to do is set the track matte property of our pre comp layer to alpha matte and bada bim bada boom you have your cool book new hero lines. No, no, we are not done yet. We still have to track the lines onto our arm and for this we are going to use Mocha Pro. Look for the Mocha effect in the effects library and add it to your arm clip. Once you added that, click on the Mocha Pro logo in your effects properties. This will open up a new dedicated Mocha Pro window. Here we are going to take the X-Spline tool and create a rough spline mask around our arm. Now on the bottom, enable the mesh option. If you're not seeing this option, make sure that you set your workspace in classic mode. This will give you a lot more tracking properties. Okay, next we went back to the bottom of our screen and set the generation mode to uniform. And then we generated our mesh. Next up, we tracked it all and once it was done, you will have something like this. One thing I have to say, if you want this tracking to work with Mocha Pro, the footage you are using can only be your arm and nothing more. If there is still a background or another body part in the picture, the tracking will somehow not work. But let's continue. The next thing we are going to do is go back to the beginning of our clip and enable the planner surface, which we also expanded with this button. Then back on the bottom of our window, we went to stabilize, enable the mesh warp and set the quality to high. Now you can save your mocha and close it. Now the only thing that we have to do is scale and position our glowing lines over the arm. Then we can take the Mocha Pro effect from the original clip, copy that and paste it to our lines. Open up that Mocha Pro effect and go to the module render property. Here we need to set the module to stabilize warp, the warp quality to high and enable the render button. And now our line should be following perfectly along with the arm. And as last we added some details. We duplicated our original arm and laid it on top of our lines and used this as a track mat. Then we changed the blending mode of our lines to screen, blurred the edges a little with roughened edges and gave it a glow. Now to make the skin glow and bring all together, select the lines and their track matte layer. These two we duplicated and for the bottom lines we added a fast box blur effect, lowered the opacity and changed the blending mode to add. And last but not least we gave our original arm also a yellowish glow and voila we are done. You can now do this process for every single limb that you have. Hey Janik, and he makes her stupid. Take it back, Jordy! Animes aren't dumb! Animes are dumb. They're just cartoons. Baka. And that was it, guys. I got super smashed, Detroit punched or something by Janik. They're still cartoons, you know? Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Storyblocks, for the support. And as always, Stay creative. And that was it, guys. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that. Well, I'm lake you, though. You know what I'm saying? I want to help with scarves on the off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. Thanks for that, Hello.